I'm sure Martin Clunes will be on his best behaviour when he visits Paul O'Grady live at five on four. That's after Deal or No Deal. Twenty-two boxes, a quarter of a million pounds, just one question. Welcome to Deal or No Deal. To this fabulous life game. That's what I described it as yesterday. And David really made his game live up to that description. He came and told us about his life, about the challenges he had had with his health, and he had a very, very Christian attitude, as he called it, to those that had bullied him. I thought it was fabulous that he was delighted with a modest £3,000, and then he managed to shrug off the disappointment that he could have had 35000 with real grace. And talking of this being a life game, I want to underline the variety of the people that we get here. The East Wing actually has quite an educational feel to it at the moment. We have two teachers, we have a nurse, and there's a private detective. I mean, how much more variety can you have as we try and change someone's life forever? Here come the names. I think I can say with confidence, this is the most important game you've ever played in your life. Gainer. Yeah! <laughs> Gainer, will you please take the walk of wealth? Join me. Welcome to your game. Thank you. Oh, you've got cold hands. Hello. Do please sit down. Thank you. Gaynor Edwards from oh. Presswich in Manchester. Hello to you. Hiya. Or should I say, hello to Shrew. Oh. <laughs> What's all that about Shrew? Oh, daughter. Daughter goes, oh, no, <laughs> oh. story of the Shrew. She'll be really embarrassed now. Oh, she well, says, maybe you should tell me, Sophia. What no. is this about Shrews? You can tell him. <laughs> oh, it's really rather silly, but it's true. Well, my husband and I, when we were courting, um, we were in Manchester one day. We was actually, we used to work together and we took a day off together. And we were in Manchester and we went to the museum. And we walked around the museum and there was a case with these two little shrews. They were stuffed in this case. And um, I said, oh, is that what a shrew is? He said, oh, my husband said, you're a shrew. And it's kind of stuck. It sounds really silly, but that's what we've always called each other. That's our pet name for each other. You went to a spiritualist. I did, yeah. I've recently lost my parents and my friend ran me and she said, there's a gang of us going now, I don't want to upset you by asking you to come, well, although I don't want to leave you out either, so, you know, we're all going, do you want to come? With an open mind, I went along and this lady was just amazing. She, she came to me and she told me, I don't want to go right into it, but she, she brought my dad to me and I believe that she brought my mum to me. Amazing. Yeah, really. What have you brought here? Oh, right, this, um, this is a little, well, it's quite a big guardian angel. Um, this is beautiful. I bought this for my mum. My mum, um, my mum passed away uh, 18 months ago, and when she was in the hospice, everybody was giving her cards and things, and I thought I need to get something a little bit special. So I bought this to, to watch over her, and I took it home, and, and now it's looking over me, and it's really special to me. So I just wanted to bring it. Now this, I don't want you to think this is morbid, but I've not told you my story yet, but um, my mum died 18 months ago, and my mum and dad have been married 57 years. And my dad couldn't live without my mum. He wasn't coping too well. So, um, 
15 weeks after my mum died, my father passed away. Um, he had a heart, heart attack. Um, and it basically, I'd say it was a broken heart. He didn't have heart problems, my dad. But I had the best parents you could ever imagine. You know, I really did. They supported me all my life. They've been absolutely wonderful. And when, I've been poorly myself in the past. And when I was poorly, I was just basically like their little girl again. And it was, you know, they took me to all my appointments and everything. So, you know, I just wanted to. And my dad, he just loved that cap and it, it still smells of it. <laughs> so there you go. Lovely. Oh, this is great. This is my lovely husband, my shrew, <laughs> and my baby shrew there. Uh, this is Race for Life. We do this every year, and afterwards we all go back to my house and I have a big, big barbecue. Um, yeah, so that's a Race for Life. Right then, are you happy to crack on with this? I'm happy to crack on We'll with learn that. more about you as it unfolds. OK. But for the moment, I just want confirmation, please, that you chose box number 12 at random before the game began. Yes, I did. It is sealed by the independent adjudicator who seals... All 22 boxes, and it's the only person who knows where the money is. Gainer, I really, really want you to have a wonderful game. Good luck, Shrew! <laughs> Thank you! <laughs> oh, so exciting. Oh, gosh, you look all look gorgeous from here. You look lovely. Right, OK. Uh, I've not got any plan, no. I've not got any plan at all. I'm going to go with the flow and I'm going to follow my instincts because that's what my mother always said to me when I was a young girl. So I'm going to go for number 16 first. Sam? Thank you, Sam. All the best. Thousand pounds. Oh, that's OK. <laughs> Rita, bring me a blue, sweetheart. Lovely lady, and hope this is a blue for you again. Yeah! Lois Red, highest blue. Um, Terry, number eight, my lovely friend. I miss you again. I hope we can find the one piece so we can get that oh. kiss. Don't worry, don't worry, darling. I'll give you a kiss anyway. Oh, sorry. <laughs> More of a kick than a kiss, Terry. <laughs> okay. 100 grand out of your game. Mm. Ah, yes, Jenny, number 15, please. Hope it's a blue. <gasps> oh, no. Back to back. Power oh. five. 75,000. Oh dear. Oof. I've got to be a bit more careful, aren't I? Right, OK. Betty, number 11, please. Right, now, you know what they say. A bad start and a good finish. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Betty. Oh! Well, thanks for ensuring it's a bad start. <laughs> He's going to love you, Gaynor. I know. He's going to love a little shrew. <laughs> Hello. What? Why, there's a wench, come kiss me, Kate. <laughs> no, I don't know what that's from. Taming of the shrew. The taming of the shrew. <laughs> oh, of course. Yes, I'm good today, thank you. How are you, banker? Oh, that's nice. Oh, guys, the banker has finally admitted that he feels a bond with you. Ooh. Even though he loathes you. <laughs> that's lovely. Is it loathe at first sight? Oh, yes, Gaynor has come with a mother and daughter team. They do like hair in Gaynor's family, yeah. <laughs> Ooh, she thinks it's fetching. Oh, he finds you attractive. <gasps> but you know what he finds even more attractive than you? Yeah, go on. That board? I know. <laughs> 900 quid. Oh! It's oh. an ugly opening offer. 
OK, Noel, I'm ready for the question. £900. Deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. <laughs> Come on. Come on, Gaynor. I'm coming for you, Gary, cos that's my husband's name, and you've got to be lucky for me, Gary. I need a blue. Come on. Come on, Russ. <laughs> Hope so. Good, good luck, Gaynor. Thank you. Some more Gary's. Do you know what? I'm going to go for Vincenzo because he's a newbie. And he's wearing a flat cap. He's wearing a flat cap. Yeah, he is wearing a flat That's cap. That's reminded you of your father. Yes, thank you. Vincenzo, welcome to the game. Thank you. Could you please open box number seven? Of course. Could you make thank it blue, much. please? Ten thousand pounds. Don't worry. Don't worry. Not as bad as it can be. You've got nine blues here. I know. You, you've got to start hitting these blues. I know, I know. Where's David? I need his help. OK. I think we'll go with Leanne. Number 17, please. Do you realise this is totally the opposite to yesterday? <laughs> Do you realise that? Is it? You have a look. You have a look upside down. <laughs> you have a look. It's totally... The opposite to yesterday. <laughs> yesterday we had this great big block of reds, and now we've got a great big block of blues. Isn't it? Yes. It's just the other yes. way around. Well, we're going to turn it upside down. We're going to turn it around yeah. the other way. We yeah. are. It's still some good numbers up there. Don't Doesn't it do that? <laughs> yeah, that's what we're going to do. <laughs> do come back after this break. <laughs> My word. <laughs> it is uncanny, though, actually, how yesterday David had a game where he had this massive block of reds, and now we seem to have completely the opposite here. Come on, Gaynor, mm. get a grip on this. Mm -hmm. Start nibbling at the banker's boys. power five. Okay. Okay, Garant. See what you can do for me, please. Garant, the daddy. Okay, you look lovely. Why green. have you changed your mind, by the way? What do you mean? Well, you had gone for 17 oh, yes. before. Changed your mind, haven't you? Oh, yes, yeah. okay. No, I'm going to go with Garant. Hey, please. if you want to change your mind, it's I ladies' prerogative. Absolutely. You look lovely and green. Thank you, darling. Thank you, Daddy. So do you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> all right, all the best. Oh, 5,000. Another red has gone. Still nine blues. I don't think we've mounted a compelling argument as to why he should start giving you large offers. Nope. Hello. Oh, that's really chuffed. I know we've done the opposite. I know we have. I know we can't. We can't lie our way out of this. This is not looking good at all. Okay, he's at pains to point out that with what's happened. Your only saving grace is the quarter of a million being there. Mm -hmm. You could be the first person to walk at the second offer. £2,900. Mm. 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 Does that surprise you? It's a fair offer, and I appreciate that, Mr Banker. Lots of respect to you. However, I'm here to play the game, and I'm going to carry on. I'm ready for the question. £2,900, deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you, Gary. <laughs> Please, number 22. Come on, Lee, get me a blue, please. Thank you, Lee. Good luck, Gaynor. Thank you. Come on, Lee. Oh! oh no. What? My word, this is uncanny. Oh, I don't know what to say. You know, I'm lucky in love, me, no. I must say, I am lucky in love. However, I'm going to fight on. <laughs> Oh, Karen, number one, please. Karen, come on, please. She's still got nine blues. 
lovely lady and you deserve a blue. Thank you. Please. Oh my god. Oh, have I done to deserve this? Oh, this is appallingly bad luck, and this is starting to bring back <laughs> memories. Nikki Tucker, Derek Brown, they're the two names that come to mind immediately. Relentless misfortune for both of those players. Never mind, come on, let's carry on. Number three, please. Adam, we now require a record-breaking run of blues. Give us the first one, please. Good luck, Diane. Please. Thank you. Well, that is a relief. I'm still going to keep it in. I'm still going to keep it in. Wow. But you're lucky in love. I am lucky in love. Got a lovely husband. Hello. He was beginning to forget what the colour blue looked like. This is a tricky situation. Now, this is interesting. We always talk about the power of the quarter million. You know, people come here wanting to win the quarter million. But it's the influence of the quarter of a million that is so important. Because the quarter of a million is still in your game, he's actually sticking at £2,900 as your third offer. My daughter's having driving lessons at the moment and I'd like to get her a little car, maybe. And I'd like to give some money to the hospice where my mum was because they were absolutely fabulous. So I've got a little shopping list. Um, I'm ready for the question. £2,900. Deal or no deal? Thank you very much, Mr Banker. It is a nice offer and I could do quite a lot with that amount of money. However, I'm going to play on. No deal. Thank you. <laughs> I admire you, Gaynor. Yeah? Yeah, I do. I do. Every now and again, we do get a game like this. I mean, it has to happen, doesn't it? Because sometimes we get mm. great games and then we get a real knockback game. But it doesn't seem to have affected you. And I'm just no. wondering... I'm just wondering whether we're seeing the fighting spirit that helped you overcome your ill health. Do you want to just mention that? Yeah. Yeah, I, I was diagnosed with breast cancer when I was 42. And uh, although at the time it was really, really frightening, I'm now five years on and I'm doing really well. Um, and I'd like to say to anybody out there that's just been diagnosed with breast cancer, it's not the end of the world. People do survive. I was very, very scared by my diagnosis, um, and now I'm doing really, really well. I am a fighter uh, for this, and I will fight here while I'm here, because I'm never going to get a chance to do this again. Thank you. This is a really, really important moment in the game. No. I want you to be confident about your selections. OK, AD. Come on, babes, get me a blue. AD, you'd think it would be impossible to do anything else. Come OK, on. good luck, Guy, now. Thank you, I'm going to really miss you. No, no, me. Brilliant. That's so important. So important, and now oh, yeah. the significance of the 10p is there for us all to see. That will drag the next offer down. Mm -hmm. But you're not joining the 1p club. Can you find 10p? Mm -hmm. Have a damn good go. 18, Kingsley. Come on, Kingsley, get me a nice blue. Kings, 10p. 10p is the one I want. Any blue, actually. Go on, you're a lovely lady. It's been my pleasure to meet you. And mine to yeah. meet you, too. Lovely. Lovely guy. Good luck to you, love. Oh, oh, my God! Oh. oh, this is not my game, is it? <sighs> That's going to be disastrous. That is horrible. That is so, so horrible. 
I really hoped that we were going to keep the quarter million deep into the game. Oh my goodness! It was Look your at that only board. influence. And now, of course, I'm sure there's a few people thinking ahead and thinking, "What can Box 12 have in it? Is it conceivable that the 35,000 has come to the table two days in a row?" Okay, Leanne, 17. Leanne, that felt incredibly cruel. We were delighted to see the 1P go. And now, really upset to see the quarter of a million. We're going to have a break. We're all going to... We're going to pick you up. We're going to give you a mass cuddle. <laughs> we're going to assure you that there is still significant money to be won in this game. You're a very brave, feisty lady. You've had your own battles and you've won them. Yeah. Here's a battle it's not that over you yet. can also it's not win. Over exactly, it's not over yet. Remember, it's not how you start, it's, it's how, how you, you finish. finish. Make sure you'll be with us at the finish. See you shortly. little pet talk for Gaynor Edwards from Presswich in Manchester. We should not assume that the 35,000 has not come to the table two days in a row. Okay. It happens. It does happen. Chris. This is a 10 e for you. You changed you change your... I have, have a no again from the end. What? what? Uh, we, we've got to talk about this. Sorry, I don't know why I keep doing that. No, uh, don't apologise. I'm just wondering whether there is something about 17. You choose it, no. and then we have a break, and you veer away from it. <laughs> and last time it's you decided cold. that you were going to stay away from it. Um, OK. So... Oh, I don't know now. Oh, are there forces at work here? Possibly. Let me go Ooh. for Chris, number 14, please. Is it shrew power? Shrew <laughs> power. <laughs> Let's have some shrew power then. Yeah, let's have some shrew power. It's hard to send a Belfast accent. <laughs> Tempe. Oh, come on, please, Tempe. Tempe. Yeah, get the Tempe out of the way because it will drag the offer down. Yeah. Yeah! Eight bucks. Well, it's the nearest I'll get to know what it feels like to be a boxer who's had a pounding. We've arrived at eight box, but it feels as if we've been beaten up on the way. Hello. <clears throat> no, 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 no. That's very kind of you, banker. I do not want to have the full experience to understand what that's like, but this has been a bruising battle for us. Yeah, so there is something funny about this box 17 because you're sort of oblivious to the fact you're doing it. I am. Yeah. Mm. Twice, yeah, twice it's been selected, twice she's dived away from it without knowing why. Oh, oh yes. Oh, Sometimes you could call it clever. 17, 17. 1,717 pounds. Ooh, now, for somebody who is a spiritual person, the significance of 17 could be starting to rise. For the moment, mm. the number 17 is dominant in your financial I'll affairs. I'll be my mum. My mum will be here. Oh, I didn't like to say that. But, she uh, will. She will. My mum will be here. She'll be here with me. I know she will. And my dad. Well, maybe the this fact that you be. keep ducking it, having selected it, Mm. Maybe there's something in it. £1,717 is your offer at this point. Yeah, it's quite tempting, really, isn't it, looking at that board? Mm. Gainer, it, the odds are obviously in your favour to, to hit blues, but if you take out that 35, you, uh, you're I've not going to see anything like that again. I know. But it's, it's quite clearly a risk zone. Yeah. Gainer? Yeah? Can I just say? Do you believe in that psychic medium? That yeah. You, if you believe in that, then mm. should you know? Mm. You think we talk? Yeah. I think you should risk it. You should. You should play the game. Okay. Okay, Neil. I'm ready for the question. Seventeen hundred and £17, pounds, deal or no deal? Well, 
No deal. Right. John, number nine, please. We have six blues. It seems inevitable that this is going to be a blue, but the reality is Gainer has a one box game. We must not find the one remaining power five. John, please open box nine. Good luck, Gainer. Oh. And for it to happen in the very first box is really cruel luck. Dana, £3,000 will go towards buying Sophia a car and give you money for the hospice. I know, darling, I know. Number 19, Tina, please. Come on, Tina, we're all feeling very down here. It's funny how these games can recover to a sensible sum of money. You said it. I agree with you, Jane. £3,000 would be a very nice climax to the game. So, we don't want to see it. Thank you. That's 10p, Gainer. Right, got a pound out of the way. Stay OK. Jane, number five, please. Jane, here's a lady really does have her priorities in the right place. Don't but be so worried, it's OK. <laughs> she's here to win some money. Okay. Jane, blue, please. It's blue, guys. Bad boxes, but in the worst possible order. It gave him a really good laugh. How sick is that? Three hundred and seventeen pounds. Oh gosh! He's picking on that seventeen again. Okay, no, I'm ready for the question. Three hundred and seventeen pounds, deal or no deal? No deal. Thank you. I'm going to get that three thousand pound. Come on, Alan. You've been my buddy. You've got a blue in there. I'm sure you have. So. Got to have an all blue round. Give us the first element. Got the coldest hands but the warmest heart. And I hope this is a blow. Yeah. Yeah. Oh dear. Tolik. It's you, Tolik. Another blue. Gotta be. Yeah, no, you're a lovely lady. I hope it's a blue for you. Yeah. If it's not, it's over. It's over. Patricia. Ten P out of the game now would be wonderful. If I could wish it in here, it would be in here. What else would it be? Don't take it on board. It's, if it's, don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah! <laughs> well done, girl. Well done. Can be done. 
can be done. We can have the second game this week where the player goes away with £3,000. Hello. I know, he says. Because you've had such an appalling run of bad luck, it's, it's tough not to uh, feel, you know, really sorry for you. But he's managing it. 17's in there. You brought it on yourself. Mm -hmm. 1,017 pounds. Ha! 1,017 pounds. Significantly more than 10 quid. But not three thousand. Real money, isn't it? At the end of the day. Yep. No, you only came down here because you wanted one of my <laughs> tissues. <laughs> there you go. Stay, stay here, stay with us. Okay. What shall we do, darling? £1,017, £3,000, or £10. I know what I want to do. Do that one. Yeah? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Right, ready. £1,017. Deal or no deal? No deal. It's a massive risk, but here we go. I must ask you to sit down, please, in the chair and find out your fate. And I think you should put your arm round Mum and give her a big cuddle because in anybody's language gainer, that was a brave no deal. And I'd like the bravery to be rewarded. Three grand would be very nice. Lovely. It'd be lovely. Good luck, Kate. Thank you. Is exactly right, Gaynor. I'm going to do the swap thing. Gaynor, the banker, is saying swap or no swap. Do you know why he's saying... I know why he's saying that, because we've got the significance with the 17. Oh, yeah, of course. Of course oh, he is, yeah. yeah. OK. Well... I want is... to swap. I beg your pardon? Is... I, a... I want to swap. OK, the question is swap or no swap? Swap. Swap. OK. <laughs> I don't like this. I actually don't like it when the player takes the swap because I'm always terrified that I've actually carried the meaningful money away from the table. <sighs> this is a random game. The boxes are filled at random. It's a game of luck. What can 17 possibly mean? but it does seem to have had a strange involvement in your game. You sensed the presence of maybe your mother, quite a spiritual person. So was there some particular force that was working? I don't know. What's meant to be will be. Well, I'll tell you what, Gain. I'd love to think there was. I'd love to think there is. I would love to think that I've actually carried the £3,000 into your life. Leanne, please. Open the box she brought to the table. There it is. Yeah. Quick. And 
And I'll say one other thing. You spoke very movingly at the beginning about your late parents and you said you felt this sort of spiritual awareness and whatever. I don't know what was going on with Box 17, but the outcome has very much kept that belief alive. Mm. And I think you should feel pretty good about that as yeah, well. Yeah, Gaynor, yeah. I'm so pleased that you have £3,000. Whatever people believe, you really should respect it. And I love that extra factor in the game. That was actually quite spooky about 17, and in the end, it delivered. Not a huge amount of money, but coincidentally, the same as David took away yesterday. I wonder what will happen tomorrow. Well, I don't know, so you better turn up. See you then. Martin Coons and Jennifer Ellison join Paul O'Grady next on 4.